You may end up in a situation where you have created two or more documents which each serve their purpose, but you would also like to have a document being a sum of them all. This may be the case, for instance, if you are working on a set of policies which are each described in a separate document, but you also want to have a document containing all policies in one place. There are a number of ways to achieve this in Microsoft Word. The most straightforward, but also perhaps the least efficient way, is to simply copy all text from each of the source documents and paste it into the destination document. This way, you of course have control over what is being copied, in case you do not want to have the full text copied, but the way to achieve this is very work-intensive and prone to error. However, if you want to use this method, remember that you can speed things up by using keyboard shortcuts. You can mark the whole text by pressing Ctrl A, copy the marked text by pressing Ctrl C, and paste the copied text by pressing Ctrl V. Another way of merging documents into one is by using Insert object functionality available in the Insert menu. If you click the arrow down button next to the Object button in the Insert menu, you will get two choices, Object and Text from File. Let's start with Text from File. When you select this option, you will see an Open File dialog when you will be able to select a file or even multiple files which you want to merge. When you have clicked on Merge, Word will take text from each file you have selected and paste it into your current document. Depending on the number of files you have selected and their size, this operation may take a while. A clear advantage with this alternative is that you can select multiple files and have their text inserted to your current document at once. When the text is inserted, formatting is preserved so you don't have to worry about your titles and headings. Another advantage is that you can edit the inserted text directly. However, on the flip side of things, if you change the source documents, the inserted text will not get updated in your target document, so this is a one-way and once-only operation. Another way of merging documents is to choose object from the list displayed when clicking on the down arrow button next to the object button. This will open a dialog with two tabs. The first tab is called Create New and allows you to create a new file of any of the types listed below and automatically insert it into your current document. So if you want to insert another Microsoft Word document this way, scroll down on the list to find Microsoft Word document and click OK. This will open a new Microsoft window with an empty document. You can then edit this document and when you close it, its contents will be added to your current document as an object. You will not be able to edit the text added this way directly, but if you double-click on the text, Microsoft Word will again open the added document in a new window and you will be able to edit it then. As a side note, please take a look at the name of the added document and how it changes as you keep editing it. This document is embedded into your current document. If you in the Insert Object Object menu choose Create From File option, then you will see a dialog when you can specify the path and the name of the file you want to merge. In most cases, it is easiest to click Browse to find the file you want to merge. When you have found the file you want to merge and click on Insert, you will get back to the previous dialog. If you now click OK, then the contents of the file you have selected will be inserted into your current document. As previously, you will not be able to edit the text directly, but if you double-click on it, Word will open the file in another window where you will be able to edit it, and the changes you make will be visible in your target document when you close this one. Please note again the name of that file. It is again embedded in your target document, and its name is different than the name of the source document that you selected in the previous step. This means that Word has actually created a copy of the document you selected and all changes you make are done in that copy and not in the original file. However, if you, after selecting the file you want to merge and clicking Insert, mark the link to File checkbox, then Word will not create a copy of the source file, but only insert its contents. As in the previous case, you will not be able to edit the text directly, but again, when you double-click on the text, Word will open the source file for you. Please note that now Word opens the source file, so all changes you make here will be visible in both the original source file and in the target file. This is usable also when you have other colleagues working directly on the source file. Their changes will be reflected in your target file, 
you just have to right click somewhere on the edit text and pick update link. Finally, if you in the previous step mark the display as icon option, then Word will not show the text of the linked or embedded file, but only show an icon representing the file. To read its contents, you will have to double click on that icon. We hope that this video has given you a good overview of how to merge documents into one Microsoft Word document. Please make sure to check our other videos to learn more on how to use various Office applications.